All right, folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dodge Ram 1500 SLT with the Hemi 4.7 liter. And I do believe it does have the Hemi tick problem. So today what I'm going to do, I've watched some videos, but I want to try that by myself. Uh, so what I did, I just got like a new oil and I saw some guys, they using these type of uh, oil treatment which is uh, locus heavy duty oil stabilizer so i'm gonna give it a try to see if that's gonna eliminate that knocking sound and uh, first i'm gonna record how the sound look like and then we will see after i replace the oil what will happen so let's get started Up the hood. Oh. All right, let me turn the AC off. So now you can hear it more better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just change the oil and I'm gonna add the oil stabilizer and we will see. I think it's gonna be either 14 or 15. Socket. So now I have to be careful because the engine is hot. So let's see. Okay, just put the plug back on and I'm gonna snug it a little bit and uh, we will go and check. <clears throat> So now according to the manual, the 5.7 Hemi, it will take like seven quarts. And uh, each one of these is uh, one quart, one, two, and we have how many quarts here? Five quarts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start pouring this first, and then I'm gonna go with the oil because I uh, didn't replace the filter. You just need to remove the cap and just put it upside down and it will pour the whole thing by itself. Thank you, gravity. Now the second bottle is ready to go. So let's take this out. Okay. And here we go. give it some time and then we will start with the oil now two bottles well actually I did use the whole second bottle because the instruction says like you should put like 20% of your oil capacity so I put like one full bottle and about like three quarter of this one just to be like uh, following the directions I guess and now I'm gonna add uh, the oil 
and I'm using like a high mileage because the truck has 115,000 on it and that's what I'm gonna use now so all right so now we got like almost seven quarts because I consider the uh, the amount left inside the oil filter and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna close the lid I'm gonna give it a turn just to mix everything together and I will let it, I will let it rest like for a couple of hours until it's cool off to see like if that's gonna do anything to that sound or not okay this one's skewed this one's skewed so let's Crank it on and give it a little bit of mix and we'll see. All right. I let it cool off now and if you guys can see it's on cold and I'm gonna turn it on now and we will see like how is the sound will be Well, it's it's look like it got some improvement. I'm not gonna say like it's a hundred percent quiet now, but if you go to this side of the engine, you can hear it like slightly. It did improve that sound a little bit, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's gonna work or not, or that's gonna at least extend the. Uh, the lifter bushings or the lifter age so at least we experiment that thing and uh, hopefully you like this kind of uh, experiments I guess it costs a little bit of money because the oil was kind of new and I changed it again and the Lucas uh, stabilizer it's not cheap as well I think I paid like $15 per bottle so I end up like uh, spending about like 60, 60 ish dollars on that. But hopefully that's gonna solve the problem. As always, if you like this type of videos, if you have any question, drop a comment below, share, like, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, so you can get all new videos. And uh, hopefully I see you in the next video.